All right, JMC Garage, in the garage here. Uh, we're starting a new series on the JMC 6000 channel called JMC Garage Talk. This is going to be uploaded on Saturday. In fact, I'm going to be doing this every Saturday evening, a Garage Talk video. We're going to take a vehicle, maybe take an appliance, uh, various things, maybe even a lawn mower, and we're going to go through to figure out how they tick, what's different about them, and kind of go through the the things that make them unique, if that makes sense. The things that make them, yeah. Anyway, before me, I have the 2023 Ford Escape. You guys know this already. What I wanted to go through today, as you can see, it's a little bit deconstructed, uh, is the 1.5, and not only the 1.5, but the 2 liter and the 2.3 MPC EcoBoost. Now, MPC, if you do, MPC, if you don't know this, stands for Modular Power cylinder. Um, it was designed by Ford, implemented on the 2023 Mustang for the 2.3 liter, and then it trickled down for the 2023 Ford Escape and the Ford Escape with the 2.0 as well. So what I have here is 1.5. Now at this current moment of this broadcast, uh, the first one, the new year, uh, what we have is Ford is offering two different versions of the 1.5. They have the 1.5 that was designed called the Dragon uh, inline three cylinder. And that is was designed in Europe, brought over here, and it's used in the Ford Bronco Sport and was used in the older Ford Escapes um, and some other vehicles as well. But uh, pretty much those two in the US. Now, the 1.5, so sorry if I shine that in your eyes, this MPC is gonna be a modular uh, kind of, um, let me kind of explain it this way. Back when Ford introduced a 4.6 single overhead can back in 92 in the Crown Big, that was known as their Modular V8, where it, uh, where it shared yeah, shared common parts with the 4.6, the 5.4, and the dual overhead can 4.6 and 5.4 as well. Well, what we would call this particular engine in this 1.5 form is the modular inline series of Ford engines that goes from the 1.5, it shares parts with the 2 liter, and it shares parts with the 2.3. So let's kind of go over some different parts and everything. We have the air intake right here that feeds air, brings it into the turbo, which is on the back side of the engine. Same thing on the 2.0, same thing on the 2.3. Again, if it's a 2.3, it'd be turned this way if it's in the Mustang. Uh, longitudinally instead of uh, sideways. But anyway, uh, after it introduces uh, fresh air into the turbo, there is a charge air pipe, which it's going to be hard to see, but there's a charge air pipe that comes from the turbo, feeds into a front mount air to air intercooler, comes back out of that intercooler and it goes up through the throttle body right here. And then it goes up into this intake right here, composite intake, the 2 liter and the 2.3 share a very similar design on their intake. One of the things you'll notice about this engine is it has direct, I'm sorry, this is port and direct injection, which is actually underneath here. You may not be able to see it. Uh, you can see it right there. Direct injection. So it has port and direct injection across the whole modular inline family, this modular power cylinder family. Also, one of the unique things that Ford shared in the press release when they developed this modular power cylinder family, as I'm going to show you on the side here, is right here. That right there is the integrated, sorry, let me get a better light. There we go. The integrated exhaust gas recirculation cooler. Um, so the reason why Ford did that is it actually helped not only with emissions, but also with the EGR cooler, it helps to uh, kind of uh, cool down the exhaust gases before they get introduced back into the intake. And it's all built in. So one of the things that Ford recognizes is that many engine manufacturers, um, whether it be Toyota, Ford, or whoever, were having issues with the EGR coolers. Ford was like, well, we'll take care of that. We'll kind of build it into the process of the engine instead of be this standalone external parts. So they kind of did that. And that's not only the 1.5, the 2.0, and the 2.3. Also, another thing they did is a oil vapor separator. So many times, this is what this contraption is right here with a sensor on the top. So 
If you do not know this, but early on in the Ecoboost life cycle, many people will put catch cans on their, actually the snow falling off, on their, um, on their 2.7, on their 3.5 and what the catch can would do would separate the uh, oil vapor from the actual oil itself so it doesn't get reintroduced back into the intake stream. What Ford has done with this built-in oil vapor separator is they actually built in a catch can. Now you may be like, well, how do I empty that? Well, you can't. What Ford has done with this particular design is not only does it separate the, the vapors coming off the crankcase and the ventilation here, but also what happens is the leftover oil that gets built up in this particular uh, contraption here gets dropped back into the engine via the top of the um, valve cover. Pretty cool design. So not only do you have it flowing and separating the two from the oil, from the vapor oil, and the, from the vapors, from the oil and all that, but the leftover oil that gets collected just drops right back into the engine instead of reintroduced into the intake stream so that's built in right here you have a monitor that monitors all that so this is kind of a built-in catch can is what i would call this but instead of emptying it every time the the vapors of oil or the oil that collects will drop right back into the engine themselves very unique design also one of the things you want to uh that that it tells the difference between the 1.5 i'm sorry you can tell the difference between the old 1.5 and the new 1.5, the old 2 liter, the new 2.0, the old 2.3, and the new 2.3 is a lot of the older versions of the EcoBoost inline three cylinders, inline four cylinders, all have plastic valve covers. This particular one, they now went to an aluminum or, or magnesium valve covers. You can tell right here. Magnesium valve cover and also... Uh, that goes to mass airflow sensor. We'll just stick that right in there. Um, also, as you can see, the uh, actuators for the variable cam timing for the intake and exhaust are right there. Instead of uh, mounted on the top here, they're actually mounted on the side now. And the 1.5 has a built-in engine mount on the side there for their timing cover. But anyway, this is just going briefly over and kind of determining what makes this different. The MPC modular power cylinder of the family of inline engines that Ford is now bringing into most of their products now. They're going to be phasing out the older 1.5 that was designed in Europe, the Dragon engine. Uh, they're going to be phasing out the 2 liter, uh, the current 2 liter that we have, the EcoBoost 2 liter, and the current 2.3 is used in the current Ranger that's used um, in uh, the current Explorer, they're going to be phasing out for the 2.3 that's found in the new Mustang, the MPC 2.3. Now, those engines and those lineages uh, of the 2 liter and the 2.3 go all the way back to Mazda L series engines. When Ford and Mazda were like this, they basically, Ford said, Hey, we love to use our four cylinders. Mazda was like, All right, well, we have one that's already been direct injected and boosted the 2.3 that was found in the Mazda Speed 3. Ford took that design, kind of did their own spin on it, and, bo and born out of that was the 2 liter introduced in 2014 uh, for the Ford Escape and the 2.3 that later came on after that. Again, those date back to Mazda L Series 4 cylinders, which they certainly need all the way back to around 2002, 2003. So the current 2 liter EcoBoost, the current 2.3 liter EcoBoost, they're very old designs. And now Ford has introduced something that is totally their own design. This is a clean sheet design engine. Nothing of this engine is related to Mazda. Nothing of this engine is related to anything prior, anything before. This is all a clean sheet design from Ford. And last time Ford did a clean sheet design of an engine, it turned out to be pretty well for them. I'm speaking of the 6.7 Power Stroke when they you know, separated from Navistar. They were like, we're going to do a clean sheet design diesel. And the 6.7 has proven to be a pretty good, reliable diesel. Of course, it has modern diesel issues with um, urea injection and, and um, you know, some other stuff as well. But for the most part, that 6.7 has been as, almost bulletproof. Um, not as good as the 7.3, but pretty darn close. So what Ford has done here is they've taken what everything they learned from the Mazda L-Series EcoBoost, they've taken everything they learned from previous EcoBoost 
uh, whether it be they were designed in Europe, whether it be the three-cylinder Dragon or even the 1.5, 1.6, and they, they did everything they could to really bulletproof this engine, whether it's this 1.5, whether it's the 2.0 or the 2.3 that's found underneath the hood of the Mustang. They really, Ford really did everything they could to bulletproof this engine. And from what I understand, the uh, deck design or the block design is what they call semi-closed. It's not fully a closed deck, but it's not fully an open deck. It's semi-closed, uh, which is a very unique design. If you don't want to know what that is, go ahead and look that up. Um, it's semi-open around the cylinders, but in between the cylinders where they're made together, it's closed off. Uh, so this way there's no... Um, you won't have none of the issues the 1.5 had, the four-cylinder 1.5, or some of the older two-liter EcoBoost issues where um, it would blow head gaskets or coolant would bleed into the other cylinders. Anyway, so this is just a brief overview, a JMC talk in the garage, going over the differences of the MPC, the new modular power cylinder family of inline engines by Ford, whether it be this 1.5 I have here in front of me, or the 2L, or the 2.3. So, like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned. I'm going to try and bring a Garage Talk video every single Saturday. I'll upload one, a Garage Talk video here in the JMC Garage. And then I still have my regular review videos and different videos coming out every single Wednesday morning. So, please, like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell notification so you can be notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you. You guys be blessed. And we'll catch you on the next one.